Hello everyone, welcome to yet another week of Jungle Diaries. My name is Toke Makinwa, I am your host of course, and I hope you guys did not miss me too much from last week. This is my journey through the jungle, okay? I'm out here in the wild and I will be showing you guys some unseen footage from the jungle. So where do we begin today? Let's start from the moment our top 18 finalists found out that they are making their way to the jungle. Take a look. Number one to number 10, turn to your left. Exit the stage. Samson Onoja Abba. I'll tell you what, I know this guy's face. He's actually a, a gym instructor where I work out. Am I correct? I'm correct? I'm surprised to see you here, brother. Samson? Unfortunately, go backstage. You didn't make it. All four of you have made it into the jungle. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for these here gentlemen and ladies. What do we mean? Head backstage. Head backstage. Congratulations, you've made it to the jungle. Make it backstage, sir. Unfortunately, you're not going to the jungle with us. Congratulations to all four of you, you made it. Miami Samuel Ishmael. Congratulations, go backstage, you made it. Osasare Junior Agonile. I'm sorry, backstage. Congratulations, guys, you made it. There you have it. Congratulations to our top 16 contestants who make it straight into the jungle. And the four wild cards, of which two will be voted back by the audience. Hmm, what a breath of fresh air. There's absolutely nothing like watching your hard dreams come true. Now to all my viewers at home, I do hope that in your silent moment, you get to sit back and watch all the things that you work so hard for come true. Introducing the new Goulder with every taste and adventure, now crafted with passion. Now, the very first time I arrived at the jungle to meet the contestants, I must confess to you all, all my fears and worries about slogging it out in this jungle completely disappeared. I was super duper excited to meet our top 18 finalists. Taskmaster, are this the best you could find from the land? Yes, as decreed by the Council of Elders. Have they been refined? A true craftsman, is always prepared. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you, Mark. Today, you stand on a path to take your place in the folklore of time. Over 20,000 people began this journey with you. Look around you. Only 18 of you have been deemed worthy to go on this quest. Congratulations. Thank you, Mark. Now, meeting with the contestants, I had a little bittersweet encounter I mean, life as they all know it is completely going to change. Things are going to get fierce, hard, and they had no idea for what was coming next. I was also excited for them because a platform like this, with great rewards, someone's life is going to completely change forever. Now, as a die-hard fan of the Golda Ultimate Search show, all through those years, I was a fan, still am. It was such a dream come true to have the Council of Elders finally appoint me to lead the pack this season. Let me tell you what, it's always been a low-key wish. I've always thought about, it would be crazy if I get to host Golda Ultimate Search. And it came through for me. Now, being a woman has nothing to do with how far I would go with my dreams and my aspirations. As the show continues, we'll have a guest stop by who is also one of the greats from the show. But before I reveal him to you, let's check out some highlights 
from the week. Him carrying that lighter to pass at that place, that's what got us upset. Then what will stop you yeah. right now? Where, 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 where did you be? If you are not an illiterate, you wouldn't you would talk to me like that. If you are not an illiterate, you wouldn't talk to me like that. You are only an illiterate. You are an illiterate. He said, you don't have home training. Yeah. He took our lantern that he was approaching. He said, Pinka, please, we are having our bath. Turn back. He said that, he would, that he's not looking at us. Why did he take our lantern? For him to come and pick our lantern where we kept it, that means it was a deliberate act. And all this while, he didn't go to fetch water. It was immediately he heard that we are having our bath. That was when he remembered that we were fetch water. So guys, let me tell you what actually went down. Now, all of the girls but one decided that they were going to go to the back of the bush to take a bath. How is it that in that same time, that same moment, Olayinka decided that he was about to go and fetch some water? Hmm, sounds rather suspicious, doesn't it? Do what I try to defend. You want to defend. Yes, you want to defend. You want to defend. You are not ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. You should be one like me. Go back, go back. Can you imagine? Yes, we are betting there. And we want to be so that you should pass. And when he was approaching, we told him. You may find. Thank you, Lord John. Why are you looking for me? I hope that as Yinka has learned from this particular incident to either learn boundaries or respect, his life goes on to become so much better. Air peace, your peace, our goal. And now away from all of that drama and onto one of the major highlights of today's episode. I have with me one of the greats. The Council of Elders have done well. Here to show me a thing or two, teach me the ropes of surviving this jungle. The man himself, Mr. Bob Manuel Udoku. Welcome to the show. Thank you, it's okay. It's so wonderful to have you here. Oh yeah, it's good to be back in the jungle. I mean, reminds me of the days when I was uh, in your shoes. Oh wow, I hope <laughs> watching me I've done quite well. I'm impressed. That's so amazing to hear. Thank you very much. I now hold the staff that you once held and you did excellently. It feels like I've got big shoes to fill. You know, so I need to ask you a thing or two about navigating with the contestants. Like, you know, what is my best approach in your opinion? To anchor ultimate search is always exciting. It keeps your adrenaline pumping. You expect the unexpected from the contestants. This time they're warriors. And even from the elements, sometimes it begins to rain when you don't expect it. Mm -hmm. Or the sunshine becomes so intense that you feel your breath is going away. First thing is to always stay calm in every and any situation. You have to take in the scenery, the environment, and dominate it. I mean, you dominate the environment because you set the pace for the show, you set the pace for the contestants, you are the standard bearer, like you said. I held that staff for many years. So you have to be in charge. Um, like they say these days, what a man can do, you know? So women have stepped up to the plate, to the table. And um, you anchoring it this time, it's also good that you take charge of the environment, dominate it and be able to set the pace that the show will go so that in the end, it will just be a plus. Incredible, did you hear that? He said, take charge dominate and that is exactly what I will be doing. Now another question that I could not wait to ask you, watching these warriors work week in week out, it's very easy to have a soft spot for one or two or three people. So how do you detach yourself, especially when you see them absolutely doing a task completely wrong? You know there are times when I'm walking through there and it's not even about having a favorite. It's just, you know this is this easy and this person is not getting it and you know this means so much to them. How do you navigate detaching yourself emotionally from the show? We're all human beings. We have emotions. Every natural human sentiment and feeling goes through the window. It's like a soldier going into battle. You don't think about death. You don't think about blood. You think about the mission ahead. The mission is to win, conquer, and dominate. 
without showing emotions at all. Now, how easy is it? It's not easy, but you know that the burden, the weight, the full consequences of the show are on your shoulders. I think your shoulders are... Doing something. <laughs> That's strong, oh that's strong enough to carry, <laughs> that's strong enough to, ca to carry the burden, so. Mr. Paul. <laughs> you, ex legit... you expect the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> now this year, I know you've probably seen, um, you know, it's a little bit different because there's a taskmaster and of course I drive the show. And the taskmaster seems to be a level ahead of them, you know, their brother, their teacher, person that whips them into shape, and I get to meet them ready for battle. Um, it's very easy for them to see me as emotionless. And even if I've heard everything you said, you know, keep your emotions inside and just deliver on the job, you know, how do I always, without fail, be at my top of the game? There's a job to be done. Should be at the back of your mind. Oh. And I have to make that job be done. No sentiments, no emotions. And the good thing is you don't even know any of them before you begin the anchor. So it's your job to remove yourself from whatever action that is, is going on. One of the seasons that I anchored, like I talk about the elements, we were in the middle of a task and somewhere out of the blues, you look to the north, was thick, dark cloud of rain forming and on the other side the sun was shining so bright and so hot and we were in the middle on top of a hill of course the show had to go on now by the time we finished I think the power of the driving rain and wind overcame the sunshine and then the rain came in torrents and by the time the task was over we were all drenched myself the contestants, the crew, everybody. But we had a good show. We had, it was awesome. And I can never forget that. So it's beyond emotion, handling good or ultimate search. Don't forget it's the, the first, the biggest, the long lasting show on television in Nigeria. And of course, talking about the brand, the Gouda itself, brewed from the finest of hops, purest of waters. You ought to be the ultimate lady. Thank you. Thank you very much. Talk about pressure, guys. <laughs> Let me take all of that in. We'll be right back. Introducing the new Goulder with every taste and adventure. Now crafted with passion. Before we went on a break, he was sharing with me one memorable scene from one season. Now I want to ask you, Mr. Bob, share with me many other memorable, because you had many seasons. Oh, and yeah. those seasons probably had many spectacular moments. So I want to hear about some moments that you will never forget about. I'll talk about when we went to Joss in, in Sherry Hills. The, the formation of the rocks there were like, as a result of volcanic eruption that probably happened thousands, if not millions of years ago. And you see a very big stone on top of a very small one and on top of a very, another small one. And you wonder, heavy wind, rain, and all the elemental stuff that goes on, that big stone never fell. It's an awesome experience. I lack words to qualify what I feel this time I'm in the jungle to do ultimate set because each season comes with its own unique challenges. And crossing over those challenges and getting to the very end and having a winner mm. is what keeps one moving, mm. driving forward until the very end when you say, okay, we have found the treasure mm. and you are the winner. So this season, I have four incredible women in my ship as a commander of this ship. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting to see that a lot of the task is not only you know, about physical strength, but mm -hmm. also mental awareness. There are three things I always say to them, listen, observe and then apply. Mm -hmm. What do you think the women need to be mindful of? You know, because we, ha we have many shows like this and people automatically think a man will emerge the winner. You know, and this year I'm sort of rooting for the ladies as well. You know, in Ultimate Search anything can happen. And I also realized that over the years the tasks 
we're now beginning to be tailored towards mental ability to solve challenges as opposed to too much physical exertion. Mm. And if you, if you balance it up like that, you find out that the girls have pretty much chance of winning. Because in calculating things and being able to use your, your mental power more than your physical power, you find out that the girls are at a par with the boys. And therefore, a girl stands a chance to win. Mm. It would be marvelous to see a girl win ultimate search know. one of these days. And it'll be nice when a female is actually the anchor as well. <laughs> Don't you think so? Just saying. Yes. Oh, All you right. are already. <laughs> so before I let you go, you have to teach me some self-defense tips. <laughs> this is jungle. This is as real as it gets. So you need to be physically fit all the time. Be aware of your environment. Now, don't expect anything to come and attack you here. But if perchance you are moving from one location to another. Oh my God, don't move, honestly. And there's you, something behind you, do not move. Guys. Of course, there's nothing behind <laughs> me because already, already I am a generalissimo. <laughs> G.U.S. <laughs> Commander Emeritus. So even if there was something that you'd be like, whatever, first of all. If a lion appears here, I'll, I'll command that lion to sit. And, uh, did you hear that noise? You couldn't get me twice. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I learned very fast. Anyway, yeah. I don't think you have anything to fear in the jungle. One thing is, and this is serious, animals move away from humans. So be cool, be calm, be calculated. Mm. Nothing is going to happen to you in the jungle. And don't forget, animals love beautiful women. Thank you. Thank you so much. To the Council of Elders, Thank you. This was exactly what I needed. The work has been cut out for me and I've had words of wisdom from someone who's walked this path ahead of me. Thank you so much and I cannot wait to see you right after this season so we can power on a can of Golda. You got it. Okay. All right. Now on to my projections and predictions. I project and predict that the four women this season will go very, very, very far. Write that down because TM said so. Thank you all for watching. I cannot wait to be back next week with another Jungle Diary. My name is Token Bakewa. Keep watching Golda Ultimate Search. Introducing the new Golda with every taste and adventure. Now crafted with passion.